Canelo Alvarez defeats Jaime Munguia in an exciting display of beautiful boxing brutality. Hello, fight fans. This is Coach Nathan of Ennis Champ 7 Park Boxing Series at nschamp 7com And that's the title of my recap of the super middleweight matchup that went down this past weekend at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. As the champion, Saul Canelo Alvarez, who is now 61 wins, two defeats, two draws with 39 knockouts, pounded out a unanimous decision over tough, determined game contender in Jaime Munguia, who is now 43 wins, one defeat, with 34 by way of knockout. Munguia came into this fight with well-established punching power, as he has a 79% knockout ratio in his wins. He had a height, reach, and youth advantage. He has a durable chin. And he has an excellent trainer and Hall of Famer, Freddie Roach, who started as a trainer under another Hall of Famer who trained him when he was a fighter. And that's the late, great, world-renowned Eddie Futch. As the match started, you could see the work put in to make Jaime more of a boxer with his good use of the jab and his bobbing and weaving movement on defense. And with more time with Roach, and he'll, he'll be more consistent in using these skills. However, in this match, it didn't take long before the contest turned into an exciting, hard-punching, fistic firefight highlighted by a hard right uppercut landed by Canelo towards the end of round four after his opponent stood right in front of him after throwing a combination. Now, the lack of a knockout didn't diminish the excitement of the fight. Well, that's to me at least, but rather showed the toughness and durability of both men, which I'm sure is a result of their long training camps. And Alvarez, in the end, Alvarez landed more clean, hard counter shots giving him the win on all three scorecards. Munguia landed some good shots as well, but not as much, and he got hit a lot more. But there was no quit in this kid, who stayed confident and aggressive even while he got hit. And that's throughout the whole 12 rounds of the match. As for what's next, Munguia looks to be in good hands with not only his training team, but the promotional team at Golden Boy that's surrounding him. And as for Canelo, the biggest challenge left in the division is none other than David Benavidez, a.k.a. the Mexican monster, who was at ringside for the fight. And by now, we all know that there's two ways that that fight gets done. First, more pressure from the fans and the boxing community on Canelo, or some promoter somewhere out there comes up with a cool $200 million dollars for him to sign the contract, which I don't think will happen anytime soon. So, that's my brief take on this one, folks. But don't forget, for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing philosophy, and elite boxing analysis, click that like and notification button and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Park Boxing Series at nschamp7.com. And as always, I'll be seeing you the next main event.